Alright, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your PlayStation 4 controller with any type of Steam game on the entire thing. First off, we're going to have to go to the dreaded big picture mode. Let's skip that. So once you're here and you get your mouse, go to settings. And then you're going to want to go to the controller settings right here. Not any of this, but this. Controller settings. And... I tried to use my Xbox 360 controller with Xbox configuration, but it didn't really work that well. I don't know about uh, this one, but I just turn on the PS4 one, and then it will detect the controllers, and then you can just click on it, and then you can hit preferences, which is cool. So you can like rename it, like if I want to name this for controller. And then you can turn the rumbles on and off, which is like rumbles where it vibrates. And the coolest part is, I think I think the coolest part is is you can choose the color like I wanted it a green so now it's about a lime green and if you put it at red the light on the front in between the triggers and buttons is like deep red and you have like an entire spec uh, color spectrum here you can change it from which is cool but I'm just gonna lean mine on bright green for now so when you're done with that uh, just hit submit and then cancel and then as you can see now from the uh, circle at the bottom, um, I, I'm using the controller, and so if I can hit back, go out, and the game that I really wanted to use this for was Dirt 3, that's why I figured all this out, and so you can keep using big picture mode to go through it all, but what I find easier is once that's set up, you can just exit big picture mode, and then if you go back into Steam, you can just go to the game you want to play, which for me would be uh, Dirt 3. And then, usually if you press X, it wouldn't work, but now if I press X, it skips through things. And if I was if I was using my keyboard, you would tell, because it's loud, like, if I click on my keyboard. Alright, let's see, I just press start, and I can select me. Okay. I'm just gonna make it big there, so it looks better. But I'm using, fully using the PS4 controller. And I'm just gonna show you guys a single race. Yeah, this should work for any Steam games. Now, obviously, if the Steam game is not supported by controller or if it has partial controller support, I don't know how well it will work, but I'm, I'm pretty sure pretty sure this game, Dirt 3 Complete Edition, has complete controller support. But I, I actually couldn't find it because I don't know if the store page for this game is still up because I just couldn't find it. So I was trying to look at if it said it had it or not, but we're just going to make sure it actually works in game right now. So I got like dead last just because I was I was just trying to get through it. I didn't I guess I didn't get dead last. I was just trying to get through that so to show you guys. Now I'm gonna try it with a different game that I believe has full controller support. Oops. I'll just play another game and I'll check like I was gonna do Counter Strike. I was thinking about Counter Strike, but I don't does that have a full controller support? So we'll go down here. This is how you check, by the way. So yes, full controller support, because this game is on Xbox, but it's actually supposed to be terrible. So I'm going to launch it just through my regular Steam client. If I can, oh yes, I can click through that with uh, using X, not spacebar. Um, I don't really think I can navigate the home. Yeah, I, don't, I can't really navigate here. Oh, so I'm just going to start a private uh, game with a bot just for... Uh, to test if it works. Shoot easy bots so I can get used to it and shoot some. But some games you have to go into the set. Like Dirt 3 you didn't. But some games you'll have to go into settings. And like. Uh, adjust it so that you can use a um, controller. Whether it be a Steam controller or an Xbox controller. Okay yeah here we go. So now I can, I'm using the PlayStation controller. I can select. Whoa, it's like gyroscope. I'm just tipping it up and down. 
So X is jump, uh, circle is buy. I don't know if I like this, man. Like, you don't even have to use right stick. That's nice. Alright, so this is cycle weapons. Oh. It's a gyroscope. It's so weird. Hold on. I'm gonna see if I can turn that off. I'm gonna turn off the gyroscope. Yeah, okay, here we go. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, no, I think I just want to move. So I'm going to go back, back, back. Oh, shit. That's not how that works. Wait, what happened? Did you I'm going to the controls on my keyboard work either. So, that's something you guys could figure out on your own if you wanted to try that. But that's just how you would set up the controller. So if this video helped or you enjoyed it even, just like, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.